Amsterdam again, this time at Blender Conference. We all know Blender and its mind-bending consistency and frequency with the innovative features. I wanted to meet some of my subscribers, uh, meet new people, talk to Ton, the creator of Blender, and you know, overall experience, uh, what's the fuzz about the community that Blender has. And I was amazed. Blender conference is quite exclusive, I would say. It, it, it felt like closed community, you know? It was under 1,000 people in a really beautiful venue. It's been a week since the conference, so I had time to reflect on it. Just thought it's a good idea to follow up with uh, additional thoughts. I'm specifically thankful to Ton, who found time to chat with me during the conference. To me, people like Ton are true, raw inspiration. For an unfamiliar viewer, Ton Rosendahl is the creator of Blender. He developed Blender driven purely on passion and desire for the best tools. He has a brilliant career. Uh, he's been at the leadership of one of the biggest 3D uh, agencies in Europe back in 80s. On his journey, he lost the rights to the blender he developed. Thanks to crowdfunding, he managed to buy the rights back. That's where Blender Foundation and all the open source thing is coming from. Ton actually stopped being hands-on developer only eight years ago and he's 64 right now. I asked him when he will retire what will he do and he said most likely on top of spending time with family he will get back to coding. To me this says it all. Conferences Blender Foundation organize are truly for the community. The venue was beautiful, the food was pleasant, everything was joyful. And the thing I appreciate the most is the transparency. This year, for example, uh, the main keynote wasn't about any roadmaps or super duper features or how Blender will beat uh, the world, you know. Nothing like that. They were transparent about finances. Everything was about finances. How much they spent, where the money goes, where they got it from, and they explained what works best, why donating is important to them. They encourage people to donate and, and, and things like that, but Blender will remain free. He explained why and how it works. People I met at the conference were all so fantastic with uh, absolutely different backgrounds ex-users of absolutely different DCCs from all parts of the world. I enjoyed every chat I had with you guys. Thank you. Blender Conference uh, ticket price may seem pricey, but I would say it's so worth it. Highly recommend it for any CG artist with any background, even if you're not the Blender user directly like me. This Amsterdam trip is also special. <laughs> because last moment I decided not to fly here but take a car and my whole family on the trip. We're also recording a first uh, CG Central episode. CG Central, if you didn't know, is a free Telegram channel curated by one of our team members, Tatiana. She spends a lot of time consolidating all the VFX and CG related news for you. Uh, and unlike the other channel, which is paid, the closed one, you can subscribe to this one as well. This one is free for everyone to follow and follow the latest, latest trends, uh, all the most relevant VFX news. Uh, I will leave all the links in the video description. And my idea is that we will be taking the most interesting news and recording a video once every two or four weeks, something like that. It's a test one. I probably won't be able to record it in Amsterdam because we're leaving soon, but I will record it in the south of France. So yeah, I didn't record the first CG Central episode with the beautiful scenery I witnessed, but it's coming regardless. Uh, we made another location work. Uh, we tried to travel quite a bit. It was a half-term school break in UK, so we decided to go on a little trip with the family instead of sitting at home with three kids. When you are outnumbered as a parent, all the ambitions and passion tend to bend and dissolve into the abyss. I'm actually curious, how many of you have uh, kids? 
How did it affect your careers? How are you managing uh, work and life balance? Are you interested in that topic? I mean, professional life versus managing a big family, you know? Uh, please let me know in the comments. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the interviews. We spoke with four fantastic uh, people at the conference and they will be published soon. See you soon. Thank you.